Well, chilies are picked in the autumn months and most of the chilies are processed within a day or two of picking. The chilies that are used in the products here are either taken from the freezer as we need them through the year or in the summer months we're, we're picking them fresh and processing them. So they'll be reduced to a chop and mixed with the other ingredients and then put into our cooking vessel. When we first started we were cooking in large pots and we wanted to maintain that sort of um, flavour and texture. So we looked for a machine that would help us do that and came up with an Italian machine called a salsa mat which basically auto stirs so it stops things sticking which means we can cook things at high heat like you would in a small pot. So once the product is ready we transfer it to the hopper on the depositor and we have a, a target temperature of 80 degrees and we monitor the first jar and the last jar just to make sure that we're within that target. And the depositor is a volumetric depositor, so once it's uh, set up, it delivers the same volume time and time again. And then the, the product is lidded and put to one side to cool. So once the product is suitably cooled, then it's moved into the labelling area. This is still quite a critical stage for us and is our final, what's known as a critical control point because as, as we're labelling the jars we have to check that the vacuum seal on the jars is complete so that the, the pop lids are actually popped down and then we have to also make sure that the sell by date is appropriate for the product and it does vary per product. Chocolate is slightly different, there's no sort of depositing stage, the chocolate is um, taken from our chocolate tempera which produces chocolate that will set hard and the idea with that is that it, it doesn't melt in your hand. The chocolate that is then laid out with palette knife and marked with our chili logo with a cookie cutter and then divided with a palette knife into slabs. The slabs are then um, weighed so each packet would contain at least 100 grams of, of these slabs uh, and put into what are called craft backed bags and labelled. So there's no machinery involved in that, that's all, all a hand process. So once labelled, the product goes on to pallet shelving and from there, the fulfilment stage. So we send products out to customers at home, to shops and to distributors. So that can be anything from a small package going out by Royal Mail to a pallet going out to, through a pallet distributor.